A similar approach can be adopted for pressure results from fluid simulations. Next, let's explore importing external pressures from a text CSV file. Having a look at the text file we want to import, the first column contains the node numbers, which is followed by the X, Y, and Z coordinates, and then followed by the pressure reading in Pascals. All of these columns are delimited with commas. Now let's open up Workbench and drag in the external data block. Then double click on Setup, and using column B, we can import our CSV file. Once imported successfully, we'll be able to see a few definitions on the bottom left and a sample of the data we're about to import on the bottom right. Looking back at our CSV file, we can see that our data is three-dimensional and that the raw data actually starts from row number two. So we can go back and make that appropriate change under the definition and our comma delimited file has been recognized automatically. To change the delimiter character, you can press on the down arrow and pick from a few presets or choose a user-defined character, changing back to a comma. Next, we can define our unit length, which is meters in this case, and pick between the Cartesian or cylindrical coordinate system. There is also the opportunity to perform rigid or analytical transformations on the imported coordinate system. We can now use the table on the top right to define what each of the columns stand for. So we're not actually interested in column A, Column B is the X coordinate, C is the Y coordinate, and D is the Z coordinate, respectively. And column E is our pressure in Pascals. We also need to give it a data identifier so that it is easily recognizable in the next steps, particularly in cases where the data has more than just one variable. We can then look at the table on the bottom right to make sure that we have imported all of our data appropriately. Now we can go back to the project view, right click on setup, press update and import a static structural block. Then we can click and join the setup from external data into the setup of the static structural block. Then let's quickly import our geometry and double click on model to start mechanical. Since this is just a demonstration, I'm just going to mesh with the default settings and quickly apply two fixed supports on either side of the body like so. Now, we can right-click on the imported load and add in an imported pressure. To select all the internal geometry, we'll cut a section plane through the object and triple-click on an inside face on each end to select all the internal faces. Under data view, we can see that pressure 1 is imported at time 1 with no scaling or offset. If needed, another pressure could be imported at a different analysis time and can be linearly scaled or have a global offset value. We can then double check that the pressure is applied to the elements using surface effect and mapped automatically. If we turn on the display source points and update the imported load, we will be able to visually check that the pressure has been imported appropriately. Next, let's add in a total deformation and equivalent stress result and solve the analysis. We can then finally visualize the deformation caused by the imported pressure. 